afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It is Streamathon Day today. Your man, Positive Eagle, I'm bringing you live coverage, and we're here today with WWE 2K22. First one since before Christmas. We are back, and we are bringing you some SmackDown. This is going to be awesome, guys. I've seen the card already, and what a way to get us kicked off. Nakamura, the Universal Champion, opening the show against Sheamus. What a way to start things off, guys. An awesome way to kick it off. And we've got some legendary rematches from the past, by the way, in this one. And obviously, we got a, we've only got one battle royal as well, so this one shouldn't be too too lengthy, so to speak. Just getting everything started up a little bit unorganized myself, guys, so you have to bear with me. But while I'm putting this up, I'm going to get myself ready to roll. First SmackDown of August, leading up to SummerSlam, of course, next week. Over to the commentators. It's SmackDown Live time! Are you guys ready? What a night this is going to be! I have never been more ready for anything in my entire life. I cannot wait to see what's on the horizon. Uh, I'm ready. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Let's just get the show started. You're sweating. I can smell you over here. Sorry. <laughs> Bloody Corey Graves. The banter between those two is absolutely incredible, guys. It is, isn't it? You can't deny it. Right then, the match card, of course. Here we go. We have ourselves a potential match which could really spell implications for potential Universal Championship matches down the line. Sheamus and Nakamura, of course. Nakamura has been incredible since winning the championship. Let's see if he continues that on. He won it, of course, off Happy Corbin, who was in a rivalry at the time, so he stayed on the same one. Eight women, Battle Royal, of course. We got Tamina, Carmella, Ronda Rousey, uh, Mickey James, Bailey, Naomi, Becky Lynch, and Natalia. Match three, then, is a Extreme Rules Fatal 4 way. These are always fun, and it involves the 24 7 champion Ivar with Angel Garza, Jimmy Uso, and Kofi Kingston. What a match that's going to be! Charlotte Flair taking on Tony Storm, the SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair. Then we've got King Nakamura, the, Inter the former Intercontinental Champion, of course, taking on Cesaro. Hell of a match that one plans to be. Zay Lee and Sasha Banks are in our sixth match of the afternoon. Roman Reigns accompanied by Jay. So Jimmy, of course, in the match, he will not be there. Taking on Ricochet. A fun match that one's going to be. Ricochet won a fatal four way match with Reigns involved in it, of course. Reigns didn't eat the decision. Taker. Versus Lesnar. Oh my God, what a match that's going to be. An unusual main event because Jinder and Drew Gulak are in a war for the Intercontinental Championship. They get the main event spot. Rich Holland making his main event debut. We're going to crack on with the show, ladies and gentlemen. We have Shinsuke Nakamura. I've always wanted to do that. Taking on the Celtic Warrior. The man who's had a career resurgence. Coming towards the end of his career, you'd imagine now... Sheamus in real life, of course. But his career in this series is only just beginning. He won a rivalry with Roman Reigns, for God's sakes, already. And Nakamura usurped Happy Corbin, who got Roman Reigns for the title. Nakamura, Sheamus, open a match. Let's go. WWE Universal Champion. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! Uh, question, guys. What kind of artist actually is Shinsuke Nakamura? Nakamura makes art with his brutality. And Byron, he's the type of artist that thrills the WWE Universe with everything he does. He's like a Picasso in the ring. Saxon wouldn't know art in an art museum.
Guys, we're about to see a fight. I've been waiting a long time for this. And his opponent from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. A superstar who's seen and done it all in WWE, but will never say no to a fight. I got a feeling that bro kick is more than ready to strike tonight. And I'm not one for speculation, but Sheamus says tonight he has a bro kick for a commentator, too. But Sheamus likes you and Michael. <laughs> The first thing you notice about a guy like Shinsuke Nakamura has to be his swagger. Look, Shinsuke lives a rock star lifestyle in and out of the ring. It's difficult for anyone to take their eyes off of him. Well, we'll all be watching closely to see how this rock star affairs in this matchup. And he's going to need to be careful with the man he's facing. Sheamus always has a short fuse, and I've seen the anger in him building for some time now. His temper is flaring. That feud is nearly non-existent at this point. Anyone so bold to step in the ring with the Celtic Warrior should be warned of an inevitable pounding. Oh, heave the side. Jeez. Hurled away. God. Attack after attack from the Celtic Warrior. Fantastic offense from Sheamus. Nakamura gets the counter. Nakamura reversing the momentum on him. Brief sign of adrenaline from Nakamura. According to know Sheamus loves the methodical style. If there's one thing Sheamus can do, it's brawl. The Celtic Warriors more than happy to oblige going toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone and turn their body into a heavy bag. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Nakamura escapes the attack. Return fire on the Celtic Warrior. Slightly longer, guys, to be fair. But it didn't. Nakamura puts him away with the Kinshasa. Universal champion wins the non title match. Sheamus did look impressive at parts, but couldn't contend with the Kinshasa. Here is your winner. Nakamura. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. Awesome match there by the champ. This match with a big win under his belt. yourself <laughs> yeah you are two star match pretty basic very quick match to get started here on smackdown well done nakamura putting sheamus away in very very quick time of course only literally about a six minute match and this one will probably the entrances will probably take longer than the actual buddy last match eight women samina former smackdown women's champion
Carmelo, former Miss Money in the Bank, and former SmackDown Women's Champion. Bailey, multiple time champ and Grand Slam champ. Mickey James, legend of the business, multiple time women's and Divas champ from back in the day. The baddest one on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Naomi, former SmackDown Women's Champion herself. Becky Lynch, multiple time heavyweight champion and legend of the game. And the GOAT, or the boat she calls herself, Natalia. Match to Battle Royal. See who wins it next. Mickey James! The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal making her way to the ring from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James! A six-time champion. This woman has accomplished in her career, and then talk about her all-time great rivalries with Trish Stratus and Beth Phoenix. Well, Mickey's got a list of great matches a mile long, but let's talk about her six women's championships. Mickey has an opportunity tonight to make a little bit more history. of Ronda Rousey, one of the top names in the entire women's division, and she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. Well, she was once one of the sweetest. She's now one of the meanest. And from San Jose, California, Hey, despite what you think about Bailey, there's no denying what she's accomplished. The first Grand Slam champion in the women's division. And yeah, there's also no denying that Bailey has no problem stepping on anyone along the way. It's because Bailey thanks herself for all of her accomplishments. And you can't argue with the results. Bailey knows how to win. Corey, you think she can be great on commentary with you? I have my doubts, but let's just have Bailey stick to the ring where she's at her best. I mean, this table already has its role model. Thank you. Michael, Corey, you guys ready to feel the glow? Anyone? All right, just me. Byron, just because Naomi dances, that is not and an open invitation for you to Orlando, do the same. From Orlando, Florida. Because Naomi's actually good. Yeah. 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 One of the most athletic superstars in the history of WWE. A former pro basketball cheerleader, professional dancer. Naomi can do it all from bell to bell. And one of the most fun and exciting entrances in all of WWE. To be fair, Cole, Naomi's entrance has the same effect on Byron Saxon that a laser pointer does on a cat. What, cat got your tongue, Saxton?
self-proclaimed most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Self-proclaimed, Cole, would you listen to yourself? I'm sitting right here. I'm making the proclamation. We are all witnessing the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Corey, you're a bit biased. So? At least he admits it. And from Staten Island, New York, Carmella! Carmella's proven herself as one of the most talented in-ring competitors. But according to Carmella and Corey, she's also the best looking. According to many people, Cole, you clearly just don't speak to the right people. Well, Byron told me she wasn't best looking. Why are you being a snitch, Michael? Would you take the advice on whiskey from someone who's never had a drink? I don't think so. Gone are the days of moonwalking, the trash talking remains, and let's be honest, I think we were all a little bit over the dance break thing. Hey, I miss those dance breaks. You're the one. Here comes the man. The WWE Universe on its feet for Becky Lynch. From Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Yeah, the man never stops running her mouth, but she's got a bad habit of backing it up. One of the most determined competitors in all of WWE. Yeah, Becky Lynch began her career as the last kicker, and now Becky Lynch is simply the man. Tamina is a scary woman. And from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! Tamina's come so close so many times to title glory in WWE for over a decade. Finally, Tamina would experience that crowning achievement becoming one half of the women's tag team champions alongside a fellow veteran, Natalya. And here comes Natalya. And their opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalya. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Yeah, the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer, Brett the Hitman Hart. She's got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. And this battle royal is underway. Eliminations occur until there is only one superstar remaining. Michael, you need to have eyes in the back of your head during a match like this. And it probably wouldn't hurt to have them on the sides, too. Down the bone. And a double axe handle smash. And she and Natalia's no there. Whoa! 
from the moon. Not finished yet. Oh, my right. Man, that's an attitude behind it. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Nice takedown. And Carmella fighting back. Caught the contact by Tamina. And it's scouted. Oh, she responds with a counter. We'll be looking for the explorer. Mickey James has been eliminated. Opportunity. Becky in full control here. See 
up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Ooh, the knee catches her flush. Oh, Tamina gets cut off. Splashes, maybe one by was one too many. Well, he got the legs up, of course. Here is your winner, the An excellent performance there on the planet. Rosa, once again, putting him into contention. A very strong showing in this women's division victory. This certainly so wasn't an easy match. win, Will she but she pulled one, it off. Uh, and in the end, that's all that matters. It's a five-star match as well. Maybe because Tamina just had like five finishes in a row. Well done to Ronda Rousey. You've got to get the wins. A couple of early elimination shots there. Bailey certainly one of them. And now we have ourselves the 24-7 title segment of the match. Of the show, sorry. We have got ourselves... Ivar, the champion, you'll see him there, second from the left, taking on Jimmy Uso, Angel Garza, who has had a shot at the title and failed, and Kofi Kingston, the winner of this, if it isn't Ivar, will put themselves almost in the line for a championship shot, you'd imagine. Jimmy Uso, Ivar, Angel Garza, Kofi Kingston, Extreme Rules, Fail Fall Away, next. The raid has arrived. The following contest is a fatal four-way extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Viking Raiders from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 305 pounds, the 24-7 champion, Ivar! He is the larger and the more experienced member of the Raiders, trained by the, the great killer, Kowalski. Deceptively agile and fast for a man of his size. Whoa! Member of the tag team that has run roughshod all over NXT and beyond. This match just got a lot more handsome. Yeah, a man who's got good looks but a bad attitude. Well, Saxton, guess which one of those matters more in life? And his opponents, first from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds, Angel Garza. Cousin of Humberto Carrillo. You know, it's really sad that Umberto is so jealous of his more successful, more attractive cousin. That's it.
It's hard to believe that this guy used to wear a mask. I mean, masking guards is like muting graves in the options menu. Welcome to the USO Penitentiary. And representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso. Hey, Corey, have you been down since day one-ish? On, Saxon, I've been down a lot longer than you have. Both Jimmy and Jay have earned seats at the table with Roman Reigns, who has made both better. Has Roman Reigns made Jimmy and Jay Uso better, or has Roman Reigns actually divided the Usos? one-of-a-kind competitor. The often imitated, never duplicated, Kofi Kingston. And representing the New Day from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. The nearly bottomless energy of Kofi Kingston. It's infectious, guys. The look of focus and determination on his face. He wants to show the world that he can compete on this high level. Expect an incredibly turbulent environment in this extreme rules match with Ivo and Hal Garza, Jimmy Uso, and Kobe Kingston. Many extreme rules. That's got to be it. Two, three, no. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Vicious, aggressive attacks. A counter answered by another counter. Jimmy Dodge is out of that. And Garza is one step quicker. Whoa! He is rubbing up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Byron, how does this matchup require a different mindset? A superstar must be prepared to go all out. Be as aggressive and vicious as possible. Remember, it's no disqualification. The superstars can do whatever they want, but it can only end with a three count or a tap out. And Ivar with a wherewithal to counter. And he saw Kofi coming. Springboard clothesline. Oh, 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 oh. For the win. The sound of this crowd is deafening. And he's asking for more. Ooh, bullseye. Able to get the advantage here. Boom, oh, what a roundhouse. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Hoisted up, snap suplex. Kobe Kingston looks stunned by that. Jimmy Dodge is out of that. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Bang. Nice contact there. And Ivar looks clueless as to where he is right now.
and that should have ended things. And look at what more can this superstar do? Reaching deep into the arsenal. This could end the entire match. From the top. Whoa! Superplex! He's looking a little weary now. In order to get to the midsection, double underhook. Weak Flipper! It's not embarrassing to tap out. He'll save your career. And he breaks the submission. to the outside now. Garza's had 
into the ring again. Taking this to the floor. Big punch finds its mark. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Very effective. Hooked up. Double under. in this one. He's rummaging for some sort of equal. Oh, my God. Back into the ring. Bobby moves off. God, that hurts. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now. Double underhook. Up and Let's look back on the action from the last match. Here is your winner, Angel Garza! A truly stunning performance to win this fatal four-way match. It's an impressive feat to overcome the chaos and unique challenges of a four-way match. Ooh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, Angel Garza pick up the win. Sorry, guys, I was just um, putting my lunch on. Five, another five-star match. That was a fun little match. Out. Well done, Angel Garza. A very sh a shock victory there. Maybe giving Angel a potential 24-7 title match in the future. And now we have ourselves a women's match, of course. Charlotte Flair, second of the night. Charlotte Flair, the SmackDown Women's Champion, taking on her longtime rival in this particular year, in this particular game era. Tony Storm, of course, left after she literally got pie in the face, which is truly embarrassing. Really underutilized. Let's hope I can do a better job. Charlotte versus Tony. Match four next. Here comes the queen, the franchise and the self-proclaimed opportunity. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Queen City. The SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego can be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, 
her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She's got an amazing robe. Saxton, how have you not learned by now? You need to open the ropes for the queen. Corey, haven't you heard? I'm no longer on road duty. Oh, I didn't get that memo. Now, here comes one of my favorite superstars today. And from Gold Coast, Australia, Tony Storm. Tony Storm, still young and always improving her game. Tony Storm tended to come up short in the past until she changed her attitude. Yeah, Tony said no more waiting for opportunities and promptly threw herself right into the hunt. This whole place is about to run on Tony time. As a second-generation superstar, Charlotte Flair has made a concerted effort over the years to forge her own path here in WWE. True, but you can't deny the influence that her father has had on her career. An expert planner, a mastermind even. Like Charlotte's didn't just pick that talent up off the street. A fair point. No matter your thoughts on her method, Charlotte has thrived both in and out of the ring, in large part due to her ability to scheme and connive. And with Tony Storm, you're looking at a superstar who is talented beyond her years. Incoming! Oh, she misses the mark. Attack from behind. Down on the neck breaker. Ah, oh, Charlotte caught by the counter. Kick gets caught. The dragon screw. Game changer. Now nah, Storm reverses it. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Ooh! Right down on the knee. Knee drops! That was nasty. So precise. Just breaking down the opponent. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Now watch this. Global light suplex. Nightmare takedown. Oh my. Hip attack. Make it twice. A third time. Can we see it? Oh yeah, I like it. It's not even Saturday night. I'm sure you do. Charlotte is a superstar known for her imposing demeanor, for her streak of absolute dominance. With that in mind, what exactly is the key to success against her here, if anything? It may not seem it, but the queen is a mere mortal. She's not invincible, especially the more frustrated she gets. And if this match can go much longer without Charlotte getting the W, trust me, we'll see her frustrated. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Kick with precision. Really just laying it in. The Temple of German suplex. Three. She turns it right around. Scouted. Bruising attack to the stomach. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Charlotte, a step ahead there. Swinging neck breaker. Textbook. And Tony time, perhaps working a bit behind schedule here. That unfolded just as Charlotte planned, showing she's not just brawn, she's Eight. brains too. She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. One. Oh, ho, ho. Two. Catches the kick. Oh, elbow to the knee. Oh, 
Piper extend your leg. Drives a foot into the stomach. There it comes. Oh, there's a neck breaker. Uh-oh. She can be set up for submission here. Campbell clutches in. Look at the torque. This will win the match. She's got it locked in. No, she doesn't. That was a great counter and so simple. out of the ring but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. All right, sliding back in. The cover. She's quick to get her shoulder up. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Oh, signature big move from Flair. And Charlotte continuing to execute her game plan to devastating results. Beautiful execution based on smart planning. Figure four locked in. Charlotte gonna look for the bridge. Figure eight from the queen. Charlotte Flair can taste the victory moments away. It's only a matter of time here. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Looking to end it here. This could be it. She just will not go away. And Charlotte setting herself up top. Perched up top. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Oh, Tony Storm! Charlotte knows she's in a fight now. That move only enraged her more. The Queen's looking to make heads roll. Storm cannot lose her cool here. If her focus moves away from her opponent, it might be her downfall. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. And again. Great way to win down your opponent. Can she do it here? We are beginning to reach a point of desperation in this match. These athletes' bodies can only take them so far. You have to imagine they're reaching their breaking point. Uh-oh. Take a look at this. Into the neck. And this has got to be it. No, two count. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Head scissors on. Oh, elbow in the face. Wow, she gets the reversal on Storm. So much damage inflicted. What a shot. That'll fillet your chest. Face full of turnbuckle. And Charlotte continues to pick apart the competition. Charlotte must be thinking about ending things sooner rather than later. And a mole shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. And the foot of the rope stops the pen. Storm dodges that attack. Uh oh, dragon screw. We've got to acknowledge these fans, a packed arena, and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud, and it is mad in here. Oh, oh elbow to the face. Charlotte maintaining a ruthless attack. Storm needs to find energy and fast. Storm turns it around. 
There's a snap man. And a basement drop kick. Look at this, guys. I think a storm warning is in effect. Stops the kick. Oh, the elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. Listen to this place. It's electric. Reversal. Can she capitalize? Ah, uh, Charlotte. So impressive. So powerful. Look at the backpack stunner. Taking this match off the mat now. Storm about to close this out. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Look to do it. Tony Storm defeat Charlotte Flair in what I consider to be possibly, guys, the best women's five years ago, I guess I could watch it. One of the best women's matches here is your winner, of this series. Tony Storm. I call it upset. People definitely is upset. A intense match. Surviving the figure eight, surviving natural selection with the foot on the ropes. Four and a half star match. How are we going to see the next SmackDown? Women's champion, maybe? Will she get another opportunity of that magnitude? And speaking of opportunities, Cesaro. And King Nakamura, former Intercontinental Champion in this series, Nakamura, of course, got beat shockingly by Drew Gulak at Extreme Rules Horror Show. Cesaro's been floating around, taking on the top guns in the division, but now he has a chance to put one over on Nakamura and put his name back in the championship picture. King Nakamura, Cesaro, match five, next. Swiss Cyborg has arrived. Corey, we've said it before and we'll say it again. Pound for pound, Cesaro is the strongest man in all of WWE. And his opponent from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Cesaro! Gentlemen, I will never get tired of watching Cesaro do what he does. Every time he steps in the ring, you can expect a classic. Cesaro looks to be in a bad mood here tonight, and I'm sure he is ready to take it out in the ring.
Since the moment he arrived in WWE, Shinsuke Nakamura has doggedly been pursuing success and glory for himself. Nothing wrong with that. You know, if I could finish, often at the cost of friendships or his own reputation. We'll see if Nakamura is ready as ever to do anything to grab the win here tonight. And then you have a superstar who might be the best pure athlete in WWE. The uncanny, superhuman power of Cesaro is always talked about. But to me, what makes him a huge challenge is his attention to detail in the ring. Certainly one of the more savvy competitors on the roster. His smarts are equal to his power. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Cesaro's caught with a reversal. From the middle rope knee strike. so much about the power of Cesaro and the dynamic athleticism for someone of his size, but what about stamina of the Swiss cyborg? I completely agree, Cole. From bell to bell, I challenge you to find a more complete competitor. Cesaro is so skilled, he can seamlessly transition from one type of attack to another. Oh, perfect kick. Vicious knee to the body. Oh, axe kick. Cesaro there looked outsmarted. This is Nakamura. Submission time. Good job getting to the ropes there. Yeah, that could have been bad. Look at that insult to injury with that one. Cesaro knew what was coming. Reversal from Nakamura. Oh, look at these kicks. Well placed. Out. Strikes. Oof. Ah. Oh. Just think about the arc. He could pin his opponent right here. One, two. Cesaro barely manages to kick out. That one came down to a razor thin margin. Nakamura looking to finish this off. Cesaro's down, and he might be out. Iteration of Nakamura. He's Another gentlemen convincing here victory the there. Great start by Cesaro again. Both Nakamura is taking on both members of the bar. Yes, guys, we're referencing the bar, of course. I'll beat them. But you're still doing this. This is what I want. Ah, <laughs> um, sorry. Little injury at the moment while I'm watching. Cesaro. Here is the lights. winner, King Nakamura! And gentlemen, Nakamura has to be happy with this victory. Right? He's got to be thrilled. Oh, man, guys. This good Superman just met his mortal weakness Nakamura. tonight. To face Nakamura. Both of them are on absolute fire in the series. Two and a half star. Both in the same division. Curious to see. Match six. Now, this is a potential rivalry building here. I don't know if it's between these two ladies themselves, but there is an element of rivalry here nonetheless. Zaya Lee, who has been very, very impressive in this series so far. Very impressive performances. Not necessarily on the winning side all the time, but Zaya Lee takes on the boss, Sasha Banks. This one's going to be awesome, guys. Potential women's championship implications coming up next. Charlotte, of course, did just lose. In here, match. That'll be some five for the press conference, at least. Xyle, Sasha Banks, match six, next.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chongqing, China, Zaya Lee. You would be hard pressed to find a more mysterious or more dangerous superstar on the roster in WWE than Zaya Lee. In her eyes, a look of complete focus and determination. Zia Lee is ready for action. Guess what? What? It's boss time! I knew you were going to say that, Michael. Sasha Banks! Sasha is no longer shy about stealing the spotlight. Well, Sasha's been a top star for quite some time, but the change in attitude earned her her SmackDown Women's Championship, her WrestleMania main event. Despite what I say about her attitude, the boss gets it done in the ring. Derek, talk to her. She's intolerable. Or he's just jealous. He wishes he had half the bling that Sasha has. Few superstars could even hope to match the swagger of the boss, Sasha Banks. She's a one of a kind talent who refuses to let anyone outshine her in or out of the ring. You gotta love the confidence Sasha carries herself with. She just exudes that boss attitude. 20 taking flight. Diving body splash. Off into the pin. Two. And she kicks out of two. Right, right. Is she? Yeah, looking for the submission. Torturous position to be in. Is she gonna? Oh, serious peril. No, she counters. <laughs> and she had Zaya's number there. <laughs> Kick right to the leg. Oh, Sasha Banks gets the reversal. If Sasha wants to walk away with the win here, she needs to throw caution to the wind. When Banks fights with no limits, she's impossible to prepare for. To agree with you, and Sasha Banks holds nothing back. What a shot! This superstar making an incredible comeback. Tapping deep into the energy reserve, still in the fight. Kick to the gun. Oh. Ooh, look at her answering back. Caught square by the haymaker. Oh, man. Inverted backbreaker. Ow. She can channel all of her. Will it be? I think so. One, two. She kicks out with force. She just won't stay down. Oh, could this be it? That just put down the boss. Try to end it. One, two. What in the world? Banks is still in this. The boss refuses to quit. Amazing! Confidence must be waning as she hits the opposition hard, but still can't get the fall. It's not suplex. And Zaya escapes danger. Oh my god. and clawing. This could be it. One, two, and still in this. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Going up top. She's rising back up on those lovely legs. Incoming. Big miss right there. 
she's a step ahead of Banks. Reciprocating the initial reversal. She was clearly waiting for that. There's a crucifix, nicely done. She's forced onto the defensive now. Oh, and again to the face. Spin kick to the midsection. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Oh, kick. Nasty kick. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oh, over and over, knees in the corner. That's relentless. Golly. The advantage is turned towards Zion Lee. Zion is firmly in the driver's seat. Well scouted reversal there. And Sasha isn't looking helpless anymore. That's probably the trigger for Sasha to battle her way back into this. Oh my God, look at Sasha Banks. Just like Byron in his job. Bankrupt. And shoulders down. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Have you... Sasha hits the backstabber. And she gets to the ropes. That's why always knowing where you are inside the ring is so important. Zaya gets her back. Arm trapped. Oh, Endless God. knee strikes. Watch her set it up. Victory nearly in hand for Lee. Cover. One, two. No, she kicks out. She kicks out. Wow, what a kick out. Sasha Banks showing a lot of heart tonight. Big maneuver executed perfectly, but still was not enough. Oh, God. She has the boss's number and might just end this. Trying to go for it again. We can't take any more of that. This must be over. The referee clearly noticed she was on the ropes. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, this place has come unglued. Right for so. She scores big with the counter. Uh oh, jawbreaker. Call it Dennis. And now she's looking to go top rope. Taking front. She had Banks scouted. Banks slipped out of the way. Places her right in the corner. Oh! Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Ooh, this is kicking the spine. Great counter. Kick to the gut. Boom. DDT. And Banks is being pushed to the limit. The boss is being taken into the deep waters right now. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh, here it is. Hey, Ali with an incredible performance there. Awesome source there by Sasha Banks. Though. Right, this has been an incredible matchup. She got and that literal hell kicked out of there. Victory. What she doing? I'm just lucky we were here to witness Sasha this Banks. matchup firsthand. What the? What's she doing here? Shayna! Shayna! What, what are they doing? Uh, I, oh, the Sasha no, fights off Shayna! And cooler heads prevail. And now the ball's on her way. It's all breaking down. Zaya. That could have gotten Sasha bad. square real off. fast. Okay. Is it Baze of the rivalry? I, I don't know. Uh, I think it's Sasha and Shayna. Oh no, wouldn't that be a bloody rivalry for the ages? We will see. Sasha Banks does beat Zaylee though. And now we have the tribal chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns. Man, is that a pretty bad series, all things told.
He is accompanied this time by the right hand man, Jay Main Event Uso. Now he's got to face one of the guys on the hottest streaks, possibly the hottest streak on SmackDown. It's Ricochet. Reigns and Ricochet. Match seven next. Get ready for the entrance of the big dog. I really miss Cole doing that, Saxton. I think I'd do it better. I think it was subpar at best. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Jay Uso from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. While some people may question the change in Roman's attitude, you cannot deny he still works harder than anyone in WWE. Takes no opponent lightly, engages in psychological warfare even before the bell rings. And there is no question about it. Roman Reigns is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history. Oh, he'll show why he's at the top of the food chain. One of only two men in history to beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. And well on his way to being an all-time great. WWE Universe, prepare to have your mind blown. With the arrival of the one and only, the energy level has just been pushed through the roof. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Well, we've seen Ricochet have early success in his WWE career. We've seen him win championships, a former United States champion. He struggled a little bit, but now I really believe Ricochet is truly starting to find himself. You can start the countdown now. We are moments away from another imminent highlight when Ricochet is in action. One of the most incredible athletes in WWE today. Roman Reigns has a simple mission statement here in WWE. He just wants to wreck everyone and leave. And lately, that mission statement has been seeming more like a prophecy. Yeah, it's hard to argue with the results Reigns has gotten from that more aggressive approach. We'll see if it's more of the same here tonight. And with Ricochet, you're looking at an absolutely freakish athlete. But I worry about his longevity. Can Ricochet maintain a high level with the wrestling style that he brings to the table? I see no cause for concern at all, Corey. What would be risky for others is second nature to Ricochet. His style should get him very far tonight and in the future. Oh, the DDT! What headspace does Roman Reigns need to be in if he wants to grab a win in this matchup, Corey? Roman needs to flip that switch in his head and go into overdrive as soon as possible. There's no time for holding back or a bailing out process. He needs to let his incredible fury off the leash, wreck everybody, and leave. Sharp elbow. Oh, a wind-up and kick to the back. Oh, 
Ooh, that might have just broken something. Oh, and it's trapped now and just a strong impact from Ricochet. Seen some serious trouble. Roman's being picked apart. My goodness! A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. Oh my goodness, this hurts! the point. Oh, stop. Momentum completely in the corner of right. Top Six double. But can Ricochet close this? Looking for the victory. Two. Ricochet with that incredible victory. Let's see. Welcome, everybody. Hope you had a lovely Christmas. But I think the we've just seen... Picks up a huge what are the upsets of the series? Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think this his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, 60 degrees, I've just burnt my food. It's got to be humiliating Roman and Reigns beats him by Ricochet. Will Ricochet get a well, shot at Nakamura? Too. What a match that'd be. What a shock result. We've had Tony Storm beat Charlotte already in this episode. Three-star match of Reigns just got his ass kicked. What an unbelievable match that was. And you want to see about dream matches, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can rewrite history and change the WrestleMania results, shall we? Cheeky bit of Cherry Pepsi. Undertaker. On the co-main event of a random SmackDown, accompanied by Kane. Taking on the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Oh, I spoil you, motherfuckers. Taker, Lesnar, co-main, next. The Brothers of Destruction. The following contest 
is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kane from Death Valley. Weighing in at 299 pounds, the WWE attacking his brother. It's been a complicated history of death and betrayal before either man set foot in WWE. Yeah, but since then, these two have engaged in several epic battles, including a casket match and an inferno match. Yeah, these two initially teamed together to defeat Stone Cold Steve Austin, but have since rediscovered their bond. Now that their destructive forces are combined, no team can compete. It's a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. The longest reigning Universal Champion in history. And his opponent, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds. Brock Lesnar! The Beast! The Beast, the Conqueror, the Mayor of Suplex City, Brock Lesnar has earned every nickname bestowed upon him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world, gracing WWE with his presence. Someone's gonna take a trip to Suplex City. Yeah, that's almost guaranteed. Brock Lesnar is ready for a fight. Promoting look on The Undertaker, who has come to regard the WWE ring as his own domain, where he makes all the rules and decides the fate of his opponents. But look, the Penny predicament shoulders down. Two, two. He kicks out before three. Really caught him off guard going for it at this point. Oh, not quite what Brock intended. Headlock of time, tossed without regard. Oh, impressive counter. The Reaper with that haunting look in his eyes. The dead man knows what's at stake. Tonight, he's facing a beast without fear. These warriors have a turbulent history. The Undertaker has done everything, but still has unfinished business with the beast. That can play a factor in the Phenom's approach tonight. Oh, it's rare we see a desperate dead man, but I truly believe Undertaker will do anything to finally vanquish Lesnar. Lesnar is just having his way right now. Lesnar's proving impossible for The Undertaker to contain. He deflects it right back. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Well, that's one way to leave the ring, I suppose.
Moves outside. What's the plan here? Oh, colliding with a barricade. Two. Wrist lock applied. Oh, man, look at this power. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Chin lock and now just rapid fire punches. The rest count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. Eight. Nine. Oh man, by the skin of his teeth. Gee, what a way to make us sweat. Undertaker retaliates. And he's got him by the neck. Look at this. Slam. Oh, and a reversal. Be right to the gut. Oh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Great awareness by the dead man. match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. He can end it here. Only a one count before the kick out. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Powerless position to be in right now. Lands face first. Oh, look at this. German suplex. And not done yet. Another German. Is absolutely terrorizing the dead man. Oh, I think we're gonna see it. Lesnar. Bang! Brock could be seconds Two, away. Three. It's over. It is over. It's the Let's take another look at these guys getting a after it. At WrestleMania 30. Brock Lesnar, the Colleen, defeats The Undertaker. What an unbelievable match that was. Oh, we've got a last week, hasn't we? Catch up, we've got a I'm looking the stream, but how you doing, mate? You meant to say that. How you doing, fella? Hope you've had a lovely Christmas. A lot better. Post Christmas, the end. Here is your match. winner. That's the dominant. Lesnar. Excellent performance Lesnar by Brock. obliterated the gates of hell and conquered the dead man once more. The beast reigns okay. supreme, and once again, the WWE universe is in utter shock at the decimation inflicted upon the dead man. Three-star matchup, guys, at the co-main. Possibly the most underwhelming main event ever in my series, at least on paper. You've just seen classics like Zia Lee, Sasha, Charlotte, Tony, legendary matches like Brock and Taker, a Nakamura Sheamus squash match, one of the best battle roles, and possibly the best fatal four-way on the card, and the best women's match, which leads us to the main event of SmackDown, Ridge Holland. Oh, I caught it, nice. Quick, we've got you gone. Uh, <laughs> Ridge Holland against Jinder Mahal. One third of the Brawling Brutes, Ridge Holland, against the Forgotten Man in WWE. But the former WWE champion, of course, Jinder Mahal. Holland and Mahal, main event. Let's see what happens next with Drew Gulak waiting in the wings. Let's go. Big match up here tonight, ready to go. And I'm looking from behind. Why did he come out here and ruin this thing? It's a message sent. A message that needed to be sent. 
Yeah, that guy should be suspended or fined. This is ridiculous. You're crazy. He's just doing what he needed to do. And how could he even go in this match? Oh, come on. He's not ready. Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential. And I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence the skeptics and prove to be the future of this company. It will be a tall order, but the confidence he possesses could take him very far. And across the way... You doing here, Corey? A nice job getting to the ropes. Really had no choice. Right on the arm. Looking to take flight here. Watch out. Diving shoulder tackle. Whoa, not quite yet. Oh, an axe handle. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Give up now. Swallow your pump. And he very quickly counters. Got a forearm. Corey, what does Jinder Mahal need to do tonight if he wants to get the better of his opponent? Mahal needs to focus on doing what's worked for him before, grinding down his opponent with methodical and deliberate attacks. If he can do that, he'll have this opponent crushed in no time. What a punch! Mahal works that attack off. Oh, what a kick! Right to the gut. Turning the tables! Oh, strikes with the back elbow. Shoulders down. This matchup going. Yeah. Really just laying it in. Strong oh. kick. My goodness. He's starting to struggle here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Cross the shoulders up and 